cow, check that out. That's amazing. I don't know what body of water it is, but it's beautiful. Even through my dirty windshield. There's my RV and my scooter here in Yakima. I found a parking place right next to my gym, right next to some hotels. It's quiet here. This is something I've sort of found is that you can find some hotels that are off to the side of the freeway. And there are often these side roads here. Well, I've left Seattle and I'm in Yakima tonight. I'm just walking along Yakima Boulevard. I really don't know Yakima very well. I left Seattle a little bit later than I wanted, but it turned out that it made for really fantastic footage. When I left, you drive through I-90 over Snoqualmie Pass, and it's really beautiful. And I was concerned that there would be weather or something, but it turns out that it was just a spectacular day for driving. So you drive up through there, and when you're leaving Seattle itself, you turn from I-5 into I-90. And I-90 that goes from Seattle over to Bellevue and beyond is a super interesting stretch of freeway. You can tell that there's a lot of money over in that area because the city and the state, the state actually spent a lot of money to build that stretch of highway. Oh my gosh, we're really climbing, climbing. And look at the scenery here. This is so awesome. I got past there and when you descend from Snoqualmie, you're descending onto the east side of the Cascades and it quickly becomes pretty dry. It's really interesting to go from the very lush green part of Washington State very rapidly into sort of the dry desert, more farmland typical of the eastern side. So I left Seattle, finally, and I have arrived in Yakima, and tonight I'm just walking through and exploring this downtown area of Yakima. Um, I love doing that. I love 
traveling someplace and coming to a little downtown area of a city that I've never been to before and exploring it. I just think that is an incredibly fun thing to do. Check out this amazing Art Deco building right here. It says the A.E. Larson building. Classic Art Deco architecture, it's beautiful. It says National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. John W. Maloney Architect. So I'm gonna go over here and take a look at the Capitol Theater. That is a beautiful piece of architecture. That is awesome. Vaudeville, feature pictures, road attractions. So there's the old opera house. The old Yakima Opera House. How cool is that? The Opera House built 1890 to 1891. The Opera House was built by A.F. Schweitzer for live theater productions. In 1905, North Yakima Brewing and Malting Company produced beer for local consumption. Forced out of business in 1916 by prohibition, it was remodeled into Yakima Storage and Transfer Company. In 1982, the Opera House was again home to one of the nation's first microbreweries and the first brew pub in the United States, Yakima Brewing and Malting, makers of Grant's Ale. Cool. Look at this mural on the side of the building here. That's awesome. Barrel House, built 1907. The Barrel House operated as a tavern until Prohibition in 1916. From 1916 to 1933, the Barrel House sold pop, cigars, candy, and maintained a billiard parlor. Interesting. So look at this transformer box. It's got this uh, picture that's been painted of what uh, Yakima would have looked like turn of the century. I'm mesmerized by these vintage photos of places. So cool.